Welcome, health advocates, community leaders, and transgender individuals, to an exploration of post-exposure prophylaxis PEP, a powerful tool for HIV prevention among transgender individuals. Join us as we delve into the significance of PEP for transgender individuals, its effectiveness, and the importance of equitable access to this life-saving intervention. HIV and transgender individuals, a critical intersection. Transgender individuals face a disproportionately high risk of HIV infection compared to the general population. This increased risk is attributed to several factors, including higher rates of unprotected sex. Transgender individuals may have a higher prevalence of unprotected sex, a primary mode of HIV transmission. Increased prevalence of sexually transmitted infections STIs. Transgender individuals may have a higher prevalence of STIs, which can increase the risk of HIV transmission. Social and structural factors, stigma, discrimination, and limited access to healthcare can hinder HIV prevention efforts among transgender individuals. PEP, a shield against HIV infection for transgender individuals. PEP, or post-exposure prophylaxis, offers a critical safety net for transgender individuals who have potentially been exposed to HIV through sexual contact or other means. PEP involves taking a combination of antiretroviral drugs within 72 hours after potential exposure, ideally within 24 hours. The effectiveness of PEP for transgender individuals. Clinical studies have consistently demonstrated the effectiveness of PEP in preventing HIV transmission among transgender individuals. Studies have shown that PEP can reduce the risk of HIV infection by up to 90% when taken correctly and promptly. PEP accessibility for transgender individuals, addressing barriers. Despite its effectiveness, PEP remains underutilized among transgender individuals due to various barriers, including Limited awareness and understanding of PEP, many transgender individuals may not be aware of PEP or its potential to prevent HIV infection. Stigma and discrimination, transgender individuals often face stigma and discrimination, which can hinder their access to healthcare services, including PEP. Limited access to transgender competent healthcare providers, transgender individuals may have difficulty finding healthcare providers who are knowledgeable about their specific needs and concerns regarding HIV prevention. Logistical challenges, transgender individuals may face logistical challenges in accessing PEP, such as transportation difficulties or limited access to healthcare facilities. Overcoming barriers and expanding PEP access. Addressing these barriers and expanding access to PEP for transgender individuals is essential for reducing HIV transmission in this population. This requires community-based education and outreach, raising awareness about PEP among transgender individuals and their communities through culturally sensitive and accessible education programs. Training healthcare providers, ensuring healthcare providers are knowledgeable about PEP and its specific application for transgender individuals. Integration into transgender-focused healthcare services, integrating PEP into existing healthcare services for transgender individuals, such as gender-affirming clinics and LGBTQ community health centers. Addressing stigma and discrimination, implementing interventions to reduce stigma and discrimination associated with HIV and transgender individuals. Promoting a culture of openness and prevention, fostering a culture of openness and prevention among transgender communities to encourage seeking PEP promptly after potential exposure. PEP as part of a comprehensive approach. PEP should be considered an integral part of a comprehensive HIV prevention strategy for transgender individuals, which should also include PrEP for those at high risk of ongoing HIV exposure, promoting PrEP, a daily preventive medication, for transgender individuals who engage in frequent unprotected sex. Increased access to HIV testing, promoting regular HIV testing to detect and treat infections early. Addressing risk factors, addressing risk factors for HIV infection, such as high-risk sexual behaviors and substance use. Empowerment and self-advocacy, empowering transgender individuals to make informed decisions about their sexual health and advocate for their own well-being. Empowering transgender individuals for collective prevention. Empowering transgender individuals to take charge of their health is crucial for effective HIV prevention. This involves peer-to-peer -peer education, empowering transgender individuals to share information and support about PEP and HIV prevention among their peers. Social media campaigns, utilizing social media platforms to reach transgender individuals with targeted and culturally relevant HIV prevention messages. Community-led initiatives, supporting community-led initiatives that promote HIV prevention and address the specific needs of transgender individuals. Advocacy for policy change, supporting transgender individuals to advocate for policies that promote equitable access to PEP, comprehensive sexual health services, and culturally sensitive care. PEP, when combined with comprehensive HIV prevention strategies, community empowerment, and addressing the underlying factors that contribute to HIV risk among transgender individuals, has the potential to significantly reduce HIV transmission in this population.
By prioritizing equitable access to PEP, fostering a culture of openness and prevention, and empowering transgender individuals to take charge of their health, we can work towards a future.